Hey, I'm Luke Jamay and you're about to watch my presentation for the classic Magic Square. I hope you like it and I hope that you enjoy uh, the reactions that this great trick can generate. As you can see, I just finished my gig as a Vegas lounge act, which is going spiffingly well. And whilst there, I found Alicia. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Good, you're from Moldova, correct? Say so hello to everybody. Uh, hello. We don't know where they are. You might even be, there might be somebody in Moldova watching right now. Mm -hmm. How uh, is your maths? Um, good enough. Good enough? Like you can add simple numbers, right? Yes. Good. When I was a kid, I grew up, obviously I didn't grow up here in America. You can tell from my strong southern twang. I actually grew up in <laughs> Texas. Uh, and that's not true. I grew up just outside of Texas in a place called London, England. And in London, England, we have a grading system when you're at school. So, for example, when you hand your work into the teacher, they'll give you a grade back, much like they do here in America. But the grades are like a C would be an average grade, um, an A would be an excellent grade. If you've got an A on your work, it means you've done really well. And every now and again, they hand out a grade that's an A with a little star. And that means it's like the best of the best. But as with anything where there is the best of the best, there's also the worst of the worst. And the worst of the worst is a U. And that means ungraded. Literally, it's so bad that they can't even give you one point. That's what it essentially means. And that's what I got on every single maths test I ever took. The worst of the worst, the ungraded. And I figured that I just couldn't do maths. But then later on in my life, I sort of found some ways to trick my mind into acting a bit more eff uh, efficiently, which hopefully I'm going to show you right now. Um, but to do this, I need you to name a number. This is kind of like, um, have you seen those Sudoku squares that you get? Have you seen those Sudoku squares that you get? You know, people okay. play Sudoku. Yeah. This is kind of like that with all the, the different grids of numbers and so forth. But we're gonna we're gonna try something more interesting with it. Mm -hmm. So what I need you to do is just name uh, a number for me. Tell it. Yeah. Just say it. Um, number three. Okay. Let's uh, take the three and let's make it slightly larger. So let's say between ten and ninety nine. Let's go for a more challenging number than three. 66. Nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, so 66. Now, what I was talking about earlier when I was talking about these sort of techniques to help you trick your brain, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you know, I have quite a few tattoos. Mm -hmm. And I realized that when I was younger doing uh, all of this dangerous things to my body, that I work well on the pain. Like, the, the pain of having a tattoo actually helps my brain function. Um, uh, yeah, which is weird, but then I've sort of researched this and it turns out there are certain synapses in your body that fire off and connect and kind of talk to each other at a higher level when you're experiencing pain. Um, so I brought along a needle. Be very careful with it because it is sharp. I'm going to leave it right here. Now this is the idea. You chose the number 66, correct? Correct. Um, and we didn't prearrange this number, this is a number that you no, went for. <laughs> okay, good. And, and just let them know that at home. It's kind of, I know it's awkward, but just let them know that you didn't, this isn't set up. No, it's not. I just met this guy and this is the number I picked. Okay, perfect. So this is the idea. What I want you to do on the count of three, not yet on the count of three, I want you to take this needle and then jab it into my hand. Uh, not, oh. not, not so hard that it, that it, <laughs> that it kind of scars me for life, right. but nonetheless, just give me a little kind of, little yeah, just a little bit so I feel that, that pain. Oh, come on, you can, you can do better than that, I didn't even feel <laughs> that. So this is the idea, I, seriously, I need you to just give it a little jab and it will help me and it will fire off and I'll get 66 and it will all work, otherwise I'm going to look like I... I want you to bleed. Go for it, I like a girl that plays right, uh, there we go. Ah. Uh. I have to hope that I can continue when the pain wears off. Okay, now considering I've got a U in maths, basically what I've just done here is filled in a grid of 16 numbers. Okay. Um, and each number is different. But what's interesting about this, if we take just the top row here and add them up, if we add 2 to 8 we get 10, correct? Yeah, 10, 21. 66. So that's 1 that equals 66. If we take a look at the next one, 46 plus 1 is 47, plus 12 plus 7 is 66, okay. correct? Correct. And the next one, if 10, we take... 57, 66. And 5 plus 10 is 15, plus 3 plus 48 <laughs> equals 66. So that's one example of just how effective it can be when you do sacrifice everything in the name of maths. 
Um, and he, by the way, when you see the next time you're at the bank and you see a man counting out his money, stabbing himself with a needle, that's that's me doing that there to make sure that I can do it. But it actually gets more interesting, you see, because if we take this number here, 11 plus 46 plus 4 plus 5 equals... And the diagonal the same, right? 66, right here. 1 okay. plus 9 plus 47 plus 16, 66. 45 plus 12 plus 6 plus 3, 66. 2, 7, 9, 48, 66. So we've done across and down. But what's even more interesting, if we take the four numbers in the corner, 11 plus 2 is 13, plus 48, plus 5 equals 66. If we take a look here, 11 plus 8 plus 46 plus 1, 66, 45, 2, 12 and 7, 66, 4, 47, 5 and 10, 66, 6, 9, 3, 48, 66. So what we've done so far, all based on that little bit of pain, is correctly done here, 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 here here and here. Almost every single combination on the square, on the grid, adds up to 66. But there's one last one that's impressive. 11 plus 1 plus 6 plus 48 equals 66 along the diagonal right here. And the hardest one of all, because this is one you have to fit in with all the other 60 billion different combinations of numbers, the 2 to 12 plus the 47 plus the 5 equals 66. In fact, I've never done that quite so well before. So what I'm going to ask you to do is I want you to hold it right here and take the needle in your other hand. Right here. Thank you. Excellent. Now pull your most mean face. Act like you're really mean and really angry. To you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. There we go. And now I'm going to email that to my maths teacher and let him know that uh, things worked out alright. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Thank you.